think everyone has gotten a copy of the minutes I sent out on this, which I believe fairly represented what we had discussed the last time. Uh, not in terms of any reductions, but in terms of maybe some realignment of the of lines. So before we go any further, anyone have any comments on that? Do we have a, a line item for legal? I forgot about the fees and services. Mm -hmm. And under that. Okay. I budgeted eighty-seven hundred dollars for legal fees. Do you repeat you get eighty-seven? Fifty-seven. Well, out of out of that fifty-seven thousand, I designated eighty-seven hundred for attorney fees. Oh, okay. Okay. What line are we on? Uh, uh, zero two nine, sir. Mm -hmm. We have two ongoing investigations, and that's what I'm concerned about. <coughs> Make sure we've got enough money in that account. And I have no idea what it's going to cost. <coughs> Page 15. Mm. And what line were you talking about, Dave? For the fees and services. Um, it does cover union negotiations, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I took what we spent last year and I just looked at that total and I believe I kept it around the same. So, so what's it going to wind up being? I have a note here of 8,700 attorney fees on the commission. Is that the same one? We have 57,710. Yeah. yeah. So we're adding 8,700 to it or are we doing? My note says that the jail had eight eight thousand dollars in legal fees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I made that a component of the other fees and services. So the rest of the remainder of that is uh, is uh, legal uh, various um, uh, labor negotiation. No. Uh, Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. I yeah, need this. That, that's fine. Out of the fifty-seven thousand dollars. There's uh, contracts for services, but such as like uh, uh, vendors for security oh, that's right. and that's things right. of that nature. Right. Yeah. Chairman? Yes, sir. Yeah. Chairman of the question, sir. David, I think uh, because of the amount of fees and other services we have in this facility, that we ought to have a line item for just to leave straight it. for legal. I do too. I'm still yeah. somewhat confused. Though. Is he 8,700 in addition to, or is part of? It's part of, yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, did you have 8,700 or 8,000? Which was I had 8,700. 8,700. 8,700. Okay, thank you. Hey, Jason, do you have any, uh, Mr. Chairman? Uh, do you have any other uh, past experiences with the legal? Uh, what's co what's costing for uh, negotiation? <coughs> No, but I can research it and get that figure for you. Okay. And we did have this time uh, um, an arbitrator. An arbitrator, which is an additional cost. We paid for that out of last year's budget. Right, mm -hmm. right. But I was thinking what um, an estimate as to what it costs just for the union. Well, the arbitrator, I want to say we either paid three or six thousand dollars for that. I want to say it was like three. Was it that one? I point out. No, it couldn't have been that high. I don't think it was that much. No, it couldn't have been because you only he was only here for a day or less. So was it? Anyway, I'll go back, it might be good I'll go back and look. It might be good to have a separate line item, Mr. Chairman. That's a good thing. Just legal fees. We do have it in other budgets. That's something that Kathy can do, though, right? Or does it have to be directed from the delegation? No, it can be done by Kathy. Okay. Yeah. We can separate it out. Okay. Uh, 
independent against because I'm getting old and my memory is good for about two hours. Now. Could you just go through the 57,000 again and tell me what we're doing with that? Okay. <laughs> So out of that 57,000, yeah. we have a, um, service contracts for our security vendors, for our sprinkler systems, uh, for pest control services, um, for our HVAC, um, for our offender management system. Uh, we have our computer lease, which is, we have up until July of next year, of 2014, to pay for that. Um, and then we have our law library services, and then attorney, sir, attorney fees. And I see how we're going to break out attorney fees on a separate line now. Uh, what did we do on attorney fees and prior budgets? Are we basically the same? We've always roughly put it, put it in here. Yeah. For me to go back and break out, and I don't know. Yeah. I mean, are, we, are you expecting high legal fees this year, or is this normal? Do we always pay? Right? Not, not typically. Uh, most, if we have a claim, it's mostly picked up by Primex. Okay. Um, or it, it depends whether we have a, an outside attorney or not. Primex is not doing too many of these. We've just finished one with an outside attorney. Well, uh, Thursday afternoon. Uh, let me ask you the next obvious question. Then. Are we happy with $8,700 here? I have no clue. But as long as it's in there, we can move more money into it. We have to. I just make sure, want to make sure we got enough to cover the union. That's an attorney fee. And it depends on how many how many times we meet. Uh, he gets um, I don't know one hundred eighty dollars an hour or something like that. And normally it goes for well, two or three hours anyway, and we probably meet three times. Yeah, yeah. I'd bank on half a dozen. Yeah. How often is that renegotiated? Yeah. Yeah, it depends on the contract. This year we did a two-year contract. Uh, we've done one-year contracts. I've never seen that three-year. No, we have done three years. We have done three years. Yeah. We try to get three years because of the cost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is a good idea if you can get it. But you're going for two this year? Or ten? We haven't started yet. So at, least like, at least two. We've got a one, two, or a three, but we don't really know yet. No. State average um, is around 19 to 20 percent. We are at 26. However, if you look at some of the other counties, we're we're relatively on par with what these other facilities are um, experiencing. Further, uh, Superintendent Van Wickler informed me last week that um, the, the Justice Training Center in Vegaville, California, did a national study, and what that showed is that. 72% uh, of the line staff have left less than five years on the job, which is consistent with a 30% turn, turnover rate. So that's what I, I wanted to report out. Um, the next thing is the... Jason, would you explain that again? Uh, you said that in the very first statement that the turnover rate was 20, 30% here. 26. 26. 26. 26 yeah. And what was your next comment about national... Uh, the statewide six, 
the statewide as a round is 19.26 percent. That's a, our statewide average. So we're way above. We're above we're that. Way above yeah. average. Right? But if you compare us to some of these other counties, uh, 30 percent, 32 percent, 27 percent, 30 percent. Are they Coors or, or Grafton or uh, Sullivan? Or? Yeah. Grafton, 32 percent. Sullivan, 30 percent. Uh, Hillsborough, 27. Uh, Carroll, 26. Does percentages tell us anything, though, really? Because you take some of those counties, they're huge. Hillsborough must have 100 people working yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. So 20 percent of that is 20 people. That's a big number. Mm -hmm. Is that per year, 26 percent per year? Um, let's see. Hillsborough was 27 over two years, 27 percent over two years. Oh, over two years, okay. Mm -hmm. How about Carroll County? Is that under one year, do you think? Uh, the, that's average, average over a couple of years, yes, ma'am. But it's 26 percent per year, not 26 percent over two years. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's some counties that have reported a uh, zero percent turnover rate. Uh, That's and because they free range their inmates. <laughs> uh, oh, Let's see. Uh, Belknap reported zero. Coas County reported zero. Wow. Merrimack had a relatively low at eight percent over seven years. Is there a difference in salary? Like, is there something in those other counties that that stands out to you as the reason why they would have such a low? Um, that's another. That's another thing I can look into. I just set out the percentage. But the last time we negotiated with the union, we gave everybody a dollar. You did thirty thirty-five cents this year, and then you're doing. Uh, a 40 cent with a 50 cent adjustment this right. year. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. And that was to bring them up to where the other counties were. Oh, yeah. The union did a good job in surveying. So it brings them up to Midway. Somewhere in that area. Yeah. Yeah. Just let me just a question to you two commissioners, because we've had this discussion with the delegation before, and that was about the introduction of, of, of formal exit interviews with a 26 percent turnover rate even on a reduced high, high. Uh, yeah. you know and uh, I, I just think of the matter of procedure and identifying some HR issues now some uh, some may be caused by termination I mean, it's not just a oh, case of... No, I'm, I I'm agree, and I'm not sure you need an exit interview with those folks, but when people leave voluntarily, yes. uh, you know, and not to be conducted by a superintendent or the supervisor, but it should be conducted by the HR folks. Yep. Right. Uh, Mr. Yeah, okay. I think you want to know that. Okay. Are we have any other information you're going to give us, Jason? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Commissioner. So you, you, were, you said, told me or told us that last year you lost 11 people. Yes. And that led to a discussion about whether we have any contractual agreement with these people after we've sent them to them for training. For training. Does this, does the subcommittee think it would be a good idea if we're going to begin negotiating a new contract? We put something in the contract that um, has to do with staying long enough to pay back the, the training, which uh, Jason told me this morning is not only the actual training, but somebody to stand in their place while they're gone, the transportation. Mm -hmm. What was the fourth one, Jason? We have the, the uh, certification fee of $500. Oh, the certification fee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you're going to find out uh, when you talk to your labor attorney that you can't do that. Why? Because it's America. You can quit whenever you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I don't. Yeah. You know, I, 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 there may be a little difference here because we do do it in the nursing home. 
um, if they go for an RN, they have to guarantee that, I mean, we're going to pay, but they're going to have to guarantee to do that. In this case, it's a requirement, right, to be certified. Yes. And in that case, it's not. You can explore it, but and I don't RN, know. RNs are not union. Yeah. You can explore that issue if you like, but I, I don't think you're, you're, you're going to not like the answer. On well, that. if we do get a positive answer, would the, would the subcommittee support it? Do we have any say in that? I don't even think that's an issue that we would be involved in. I think that's it's a delegation. It's management. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. And I think that would have to be, are they in that, they're in the union, right? Yes. Yeah. That would have to be negotiated within the union. Yeah. That would be, so it would be out of our control as far as saying to them. But it would be nice right. to have you when, you when you come before the delegation with a budget and the budget's up because we've got increased wages here that you people would be supporting it not, rather than not supporting it. Yes, it's our decision. But, um, so well, you can approach it, but my only point on that being is, uh, you know, basically that's into your turf. I mean, we, I'm sure we'll yeah. give you this, you know, our opinion if you like. Right. But, yeah. but that would be about it. If I could, those 11 this past year, how many of those were terminations? That were terminated? Half of them? Maybe four, five, maybe. Mm -hmm. What is that for, Jason? Real attendance, mostly, or um, violations to policies? Um, I don't think we've ever really terminated somebody for attendance, um, but it's substantial violations to policies. <coughs> The other thing you asked me to do is to look at the number of uh, offenders with their mental health diagnosis. Uh, I re have a report from Northern Human Services, who is our provider. Uh, the number of inmates that they saw with uh, primary mental health diagnosis was 30. The number of inmates that they had with a, pri a primary substance abuse diagnosis was 42. The number of inmates with dual diagnosis was 36. The uh, number of inmates with uh, head injuries was three. Number of inmates that was not diagnosed with anything was 10. Uh, they had one inmate refuse uh, treatment before a diagnosis could be made. Uh, they had 21 who had a very uh, severe diagnosis three were referred out to the New Hampshire State Hospital, and one was referred out to uh, the secure psychiatric unit in the state prison system. That's the other thing that you asked me to do. Uh, Are those numbers, that's, that's here in Carroll County, or that's the? Yes, sir. That is our number of people that we, uh, that they had interaction with. And that's out of a total population of we, we booked uh, 865, 865 offenders last year. Uh, one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, when, if you can tell me, uh, when you, when inmates are referred to the state hospital, have you had a problem with there um, not being beds available there? Yeah, we had one guy sit here, I want to say s seven days before we could get him into the same hospital. What did you do? We held him in isolation and processing. You see the guy defecated all over the place? No, that was a uh, thing of a uh, gentleman from last year. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this was just recently, within the last two weeks. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So between mental health and percent of the population. Uh, you'll see in the annual report that we took in uh, 865 people of that 600 and some odd spent one day or less because of the number of people that we book in, we bail and then release. 
Um, so a, a small population of that, and that's the people that uh, Northern Human Services is able to really see. Those are the people that stay here any length of time. Six hundred of them. Somewhere around six hundred and seventy-ish in that general so area. Yeah, the percentage would go up a little bit then. Spent one day or less. <coughs> uh, one to fifteen days. I'm sorry. One to fifteen days. Oh, one to fifteen. Days. Yeah. And how many of that eight hundred were repeat offenders? Probably. <coughs> Figure you have roughly 50 people in the jail. Mm -hmm. Any figure on how many of those uh, have a mental problem? I could get uh, I could ask Northern to do a snapshot. That would give you your best. Yeah. Yep. And we're we're somewhere around 45 now. We had uh, 40. percentage, I think. Mm -hmm. the, uh, as for a pricing breakout on the, um, the camera upgrades, yeah. for, and I have an uh, estimate of a quote here from uh, Comtech, which is the company that do, does that, looking at material costs of uh, $26,450. Um, labor programming and travel expenses of 12350 for a total project cost of $38,800. So the equipment was twenty-six, and then we added the, call it the labor cost of how much? Uh, 12350 Did that go out to bid? What's that, sir? Did that go out to bid? Oh, I did not send it out to bid yet. I just selected these folks because they're our current vendor. Is that $1,600? $12,350 on labor fees, labor programming, and travel expenses. And then material cost is requested was a breakout of what correction staff receive for a uniform. They received three polo shirts. Uh, we have in the new contract three base layer shirts, uh, three pants, one jacket, uh, one inner belt and one outer belt, one pair of handcuffs, one handcuff case, a radio holder, glove pouch, a uh, set of belt keepers, a pair of search gloves, and one uh, metal key keeper. Uh, then we pay $50 uh, for boot allowance. And then we'll also uh, provide a, a dress uniform, which consists of a long sleeve shirt, tie, pants, um, collar brass, a badge, and a name tag. Um, to wrap up the, uh, the batteries program, anger management, I have asked uh, Northern to give me a quote. I've asked Tricon <coughs> to give me a quote um, because there's such a, a cost difference in what uh, Tri County cap and what Northern is, has quoted. I just want to see clarification before I present those figures. Because uh, it's just a, a significant disparity between the two um, costs. Do you have any data on how many of your inmates um, are classified as batterers? I don't. Do you think there's enough of a need to justify a program for it? With the amount of domestic violence that we see, I would say yes. 
All health insurance provided last free uh, anger management training or not? Are they, uh, this this is for the MHL, ma'am. Oh, is for the MHL. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. different. Yes. Jason, uh, is anger management and, and battering, is that one program or is that two different programs? Or when I tell you. Who does CAP use versus who does Northern, Northern uh, Health use? They, uh, um, Northern does their, has their own staff. And CAP has their own staff. Um, and when I talked to Lance, he said that the study has shown that if you take, there's been significant um, progress if you take the anger management program and the, the batteries program and you run it as a, a combined course. He says you get a lot more out of it. Okay, okay I think you've given us everything we asked you for, I do. I think so, sir. Um, the other thing is uh, you wanted a copy of the maintenance director's uh, job, job description. description. I had that here as well. office in that end of the building. Um, we put in four bulbs, ballasts, and contacts for electrical components, plumbing supplies, um, HVAC parts for, such as bearings and filters, motors, um, shop supplies, boiler room pumps, uh, kits, and, that's, and that type of stuff. Um, put in four staging for, uh, not staging, but like if we had to rent um, those those lifts for changing the parking lot lights and things of that nature. How much um, was that? We put in four five hundred dollars for that. Um, painting supplies. Um, what was the other one under supplies that you read off earlier? How much was in that one? Plumbing supplies? No. Uh, just regular supplies, office supplies, maybe. Mm -hmm. HVAC supplies? No. I thought you had one just was general supplies. No. No. Shop, I do shop supplies. Shop supplies. Okay. Uh, Two thousand dollars. That would be like any like um, just anything that Joe would need for. There's things that he does around the facility. I'm just hoping that on the shop supplies that he uses a maintenance uh, facility for any tools or anything so we're not duplicating mm -hmm. a lot of extra stuff. Yep. Yeah. He, he, needs, he needs to use that. It's changed considerably over there. Okay. 
with Will, he lets people come in and use the equipment. We're now in uh, held tight controls over everything and everything locked up. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Okay. Yes, sir. Jason, this budget request is up $13,000, more than $13,000. Some of the stuff that you just named off had to have been used in previous years. Mm -hmm. What is new in the $13,000? That's the question I should have asked. Uh, I'll have to go back and look and see what he put in for the last year and what the increases were. Um, I know he said that the, <coughs> some of the material that he's seen, um, the cost has gone up because they're, just, they're not making the parts to sit on the shelves anymore. It's more made to order. Um, so that's what some of the increases are that I can I can go back and ask him to we go over these figures again just to make sure. I mean that seems to be a little little greater than it should be. Mm -hmm. I would be tempted at this point because we're about to get into any suggestions or line adjustments here. I guess pending him getting back to us, I mean I would suggest to the committee that uh, we might take that line down from 35.9 because I might have my notes here to so investigate it all. Uh, maybe down to 30. And if he gets back, it's, it's not final now, Jason. That mm -hmm. will give us an opportunity in front of the delegation, but it, it basically lights a match, too. Uh, but anyway, that's just my opinion. But I would suggest that to the committee as it I've got one vote here. So. Do you want to just make a general reduction, or do you want to reduce something in, well, it's, something it, in particular? Well, it's up quite high, and it, it's up uh, a considerable amount of money, 13000 We really don't have an explanation for it. And I suspect that... Uh, if we tell the superintendent they were about to knock that down by almost 6,000, when we come to the next delegation meeting, that we will actually have a very detailed explanation of what Joe wants this money for, mm -hmm. in which case we can restore it, or we won't, in which case we'll leave it. But it will, um, basically it's kind of procedurally how it, what we'd like to go. Yes. The other big jump, and I forget what the reason is, is insurance. That's up almost 50 percent. That's building insurance. Huh? Building insurance, the closest to the bottom line. Yes. It is building insurance. That is. That's or the, the building. Here yeah. That's that's the number that's provided by the business office from yeah. from uh, Primex <coughs> or whoever our vendor is. They're going up 50 percent. Um, the close to it, I guess. Insurance estimated sixteen thousand dollars. That was provided by the business office. No, we ought to check that. There's out. no change from last year. Budgets. What's sixteen last year? That one might be able to get reduced. You're right. We'll check that one with the business office. We might be able to, by the looks, we might be able to reduce that by almost 5000 And which line are you talking about? The insurance, uh, on the line three. three. Last one on the sheet, Steve. Line 93. You have a potential reduce of 5000 If you look over the past years, is that the one out of ten? Something's wrong here. Okay. You've got you've got you've got roughly roughly ten thousand dollars in oh ten, ten thousand yeah. dollars in mm -hmm. eleven. <coughs> through eleven months you've paid almost ten thousand. Yeah. And yet Yeah, I've got a question mark on it, but uh, yeah. 
Okay, can we just, let me just, let's go back to the beginning now on the adjustment and let's see if we can make some sense here. On the uh, minutes I had, we have line 17 was to increase 1950 to be offset by a decrease of 2050 to line 70. But if we look at line 17, which is education and conferences, if we add 1600 to that, so that brings us 15, brings us over $16,000, and that's a fairly stiff. I mean, uh, more for education, but uh, let me get back to our superintendent here. Um, is there anything above and beyond what we're doing this year that basically we're going from uh, in the last year we spent 7800 and then we're going to over 16000 It seems like an awful lot. And I'm not sure why. I know we need to shift and we agreed to shift the line. But Mm -hmm. We were paying for uh, estimated to send seven officers through the Corrections Academy. Right, and that was going to cost us how much? Forty-five hundred dollars total. It was five hundred dollars each. Okay, and they're all going to go in this fiscal year, right? Yeah, you know, try to send. send so that's thirty-five hundred of the. Order. That should be thirty-five, shouldn't it? Seven times five. Yeah, that's a calculation. That's a mathematical issue. That's thirty-five hundred dollars, not forty-five hundred. My apologies. And even with that increase from last year, it's, it's still an increase of what three thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, put in for um, the American Jelly Conference out in. Uh, I, mean, I think it's in Michigan this year. That was a thousand twenty. Um, in order to ensure that our medical staff keeps their licenses, of budgeted thirty six hundred dollars for their uh, continuing education. Um, then I had three classes down at uh, Sig for some of our staff to go down to Sig for um, specific training. Jason, yes, I'm, I'm going to propose now just to take care of the arithmetic. Uh, I'm all for educating your staff. I think it's important. But just to make up for that one error, uh, if we add it back into 1600, that line would come to 16205, and I would propose that we knock it down to 15,000, which gives you all your education you need, but mm -hmm. just recognizes that we're $1,000. Yeah, that's my clerical error. I did this in Excel, so I'm surprised I didn't screw it up. Oh, my phone had a long case. I'll go over all these figures again before we leave, so we're all in agreement. Do um, our commissioners have any comment on that education line? Well, I think there was some movement, uh, wasn't there, between uh, travel and that's, education? That's what he just discussed. Yeah. That was the 16th of the book. Okay. Now you got two officers going to the Academy. AIC. Is it AIC? AIC. Going for. Uh, What is we're, going, we're going to the, I'm sending two corrections officers to the academy in April. No, no, no. The National Association. The National Institute of Corrections? The National Institute that, of Corrections. Those courses are all free. Oh, if we send you get a big travel. Nope. No? No. Nope. None of that. Really? Yeah. Do you pay the travel too? Yeah. It's all, it's all funded by the um, Department of Justice. What's that law? What? That yeah. training? Yeah. Uh, Aurora, Colorado. We'll send them up to Colorado if we have anybody that's going to go out there. So they paid a hotel? 
paid a meal, to pay the travel. Yes, ma'am. That's the one you're going to. No. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm well, I was going to go to the um, the conference, the AJA conference. Okay. That's yeah. what I was thinking of. Now, yeah. where is that one? That's in Michigan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You said that. You're not going. Mm -hmm. Did you say? You're not that, going. That was scheduled. I'm oh, planning okay. on going. Yeah. Next question mark I had. I'm just trying to come down a note order I had, so just feel free to interrupt me at any time here. I was looking at 039 other supplies, and uh, the commission is a pretty good bump on this one to 23471, which is implied to And whether you could just tell me what that one's about. What, what item was that again? That would be line 39. It's other supplies. And we have a figure here of 23,471. It's up 54%. Yes. We're budgeting for uh, drug testing supplies to the sum of uh, $2,700, which includes the, the infant cups and the confirmation tests, if we have to send them down, uh, we've entered into an agreement with Stratford County because they have a confirmatory lab right in their facility. They have very offender um, <coughs> positive for. So, but this is drug tests. Drug tests. And yeah. that comes under other supplies? Mm hmm. Really? Mm hmm. And then the another component of that is. Uh, hygiene items and uh, the insulated food trays. That oh, yeah, you talked about that. You're going to replace those trays. Mm -hmm. And then we're averaging about $1,100 a month in uh, non-food supplies from Cisco, and that is like food service gloves, the hair nets, uh, cleaning supplies, things of that nature. And then as far as food type items that we get on a monthly basis, we're averaging about uh, $387, and that covers like our cereal and our drink mixes and things of that nature. Okay. Commissioner? Um, do you order directly from Cisco? We order through the kitchen. Rob does all of us. Yeah, that was my question. Mm -hmm. So we are combining, and you're not going to Cisco, and he's going to Cisco. No. Good. no. He does all of that stuff for us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And commissioners, you're happy with that number? You approve Not that? happy with it, but. Any of those items show up in the revenue? Do you sell no. the drinks? Do you sell anything? Mm -hmm. The supplies? Or so that no, this is all revenue. No, this is the stuff that we provide. Yeah. Is that what you meant, Mike? Right? Yeah. I, I guess what what shows up under revenue? You got forty five, forty five thousand under revenue, jail income. That's our work release fees, electronic monitoring fees, med copay, um, and the telephone commission. Okay, we don't have anybody out on electronic monitoring. Presently, no. Presently. Mm -hmm. Okay, now work release doesn't show up under that. It's a separate category. Pre release, work release, and telephone doesn't show up under that category either. $20,000 for telephone income. Are there two different telephone income? No. I'm going to look at that. Well, the revenue, right, David? Under revenue, mm -hmm. the jail income, and telephone income. <coughs> nothing under work release, nothing under. So the jail income is is forty five thousand, and the telephone is twenty thousand. Um, what makes up that other forty five? Forty five come from? Yeah. They're not crediting when we send over a work release. You know, like work release, they're not crediting that specific line. Everything is combining and going into that old forty one line. You want to check out that one? Sure. Okay. Yep. 
So you're checking on what line there? The 39 line? Well, he thinks that the uh, jail income, the 45000 shows up as income. Some of that is work release. Okay. And it's not recorded in the right line item. <coughs> Just check on it. <coughs> and under, under pre-release, are those bracelet people and it's just a difference in the category? That was um, that was a grant that we we applied for a number of years ago and got that's not that's not um, anything that we do now. What's the best big grant? We spent twenty seven got twenty seven dollars and twenty seven cents in two thousand and eleven. <laughs> that must have been a miscellaneous <laughs> something. Um, can we, uh, questions for you? Well, sure. well, the chairman, I don't know the answer to it. Can we, at what point can we eliminate categories? I mean, this goes back to uh, a certain time zero. There's a certain time period, that I don't know if it's seven years or what it is, but um, we can take another look at that particular item to just delete it out of the budget. Yeah. Thank you. What line were you looking at? Uh, 2003, uh, oh, oh, 031. Under revenue. Under revenue. Oh. Yeah. If you go to the expense side, on the first page, Commissioner, and you look at uh, uh, 6100, 030, and 031, those are the two items. Like the academy, we don't do the academy anymore. I think the question, the question was raised if that the corrections academy came out of that specific okay. line. Um, but that wasn't, that was a, uh, a program that was run for a number of years and it got shut down. Um, and then the pre-release was a, uh, that was that grant component that I just mentioned. So as far as you're concerned, we could eliminate both of those if we can by the county? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we ought to keep that academy and, and itemize out um, those people that are attending the academy and take that out of... Um, Education and, conferences. education and conferences. Then we know how many people are going to go at five hundred dollars mm -hmm. a whack, right? Mm -hmm. um, it, it could go under there and the expense under the academy, which is what it's called, right? The that's academy? that's where it's yeah. Right now, that's where it's called. So, but the, acad the academy program was a was a program run between um, probation, parole. How it affected the counties, I don't know, but I think it was to develop to divert, um, like low level state prison offenders, divert them into this uh, intense supervision program. I'd, I'd recommend that we, we take the academy um, out of um, education and conferences and put it there so we know that there's five or six correctional officers that are going to the academy, and that's the expense. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, okay. That's a good idea. Okay, so uh, let's go back to basics. <laughs> yeah. We're going to reduce the 017 line by $3,500. And increase 030 by $3,500. Where are you on the revenue side or the expense side? Where are we? On the expense side, sir. Sure. Commissioner, just for clarification, you're going to reduce the 017 line by $1,500. Yeah. And move it to 030 and increase that by $3,500. Okay. okay, decrease and then increase 033? 030. 030 yeah, by how much? 3500. So what would the total be on the um, 017? Uh, Representative, that would be about what? It would be 15000 less the um, 3500. Okay, do, before we adjust anything there, that number was 14665 and we had plus 1600 on it from an earlier adjustment. Yes. 
So I just want to get right. So we're reducing whatever the heck 14,665 is plus 1,600, which is, hold on a second. Sixteen thousand one sixty-five. Sixteen two oh five, right? I did it right. I? No, I get one. Sixteen one sixty-five. All right, sixteen one six five. And we're gonna knock that off by thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred off of that. Go to twelve six six five, right? Yep. So that one's going to be twelve six six five, Mr. Jim. Proposed yeah. from. Uh, we're going to reduce that line from sixteen one six five to twelve six six five. Are you want an agreement with me? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And obviously we're going to add in the, the money we just reduced on another one. That's going to be on the revenue side. No. If we're on say with the expenses. Okay. What are you what are you going to change? Well, we just took uh, 3500 off that. Right? <coughs> it was under the academy line. The academy line. The academy, the academy line. expense academy line. Which yeah. is where? Right here. Yeah. Right just below it. Zero, three, zero. All right, so line, that's what I meant. Line zero, three, zero. We're going to increase the 3500 from Zero to thirty five hundred from zero to thirty five hundred. Okay. That's what I was trying to get. For CEOs to go to the academy. Okay. Now it makes sense. I was just looking for where to put it back. Okay. The next adjustment I had which was consistent with uh, the earlier minutes is we were going to uh, I guess it was line 72, which was travel expense. And this was an offset to what we've done earlier. We were going to reduce that line by $2,050, according to my notes. Mm -hmm. So that would bring that line to seventeen fifty. Is that correct? I uh, reduced here 1900 I added 2050 I don't know where I got it. That's, 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 that, was the, that was the total, what was left in that budget. We actually moved the 1650 out, and it reduced it to $2,050. Okay. So, so, 070 is going to be what, Jason? $2,050. $2,050. Thank you. And mm -hmm. yeah, let me just get my notes here. So we're going to decrease. From 3,700 to 2,050. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Moving right along, care of grounds. I guess line 80. Mm -hmm. And in that, if I recall, Jason, we had. I think we had agreed we we're going to adjust this line. We we're going to remove $8,000 and okay. put it to the capital line. Correct. Because that was for the paving, I believe. Yes. Alright, so that's line 80. Is now going to be 8,896? Uh, yeah. Decrease from 
discuss line 81. So on line 82, I have another question mark here, and I'm not sure. I've got a question mark here, and i got a circle around 12.5. Why did we do that? What, what did we? It's line 82, equipment repairs. You have a question with a circle. Oh, and I don't you know. I should, have, I should have written it down. Did anyone else catch that? Why we? Uh, I, I'll, I can explain how what, what's in there. Uh, we we're budgeting a thousand dollars to replace the the glazing that's over the uh, the entrance into the, the processing area. Yeah. Like glazing glazing is cracked, cracked and it needs to be replaced. Uh, we budgeted uh, for four uh, security locks at nine hundred dollars a piece. We we budgeted three hundred dollars. I would budget it for four replacement cameras if we have to replace any cameras. Um, we budgeted $2,000 to fix the fire wall uh, cap that's through the roof. That's the wood that's rotting. Um, we budgeted three door closers. Those have the uh, door position switch in them. Uh, we budgeted to repair three of those. And then uh, we budgeted um, $3,200 for miscellaneous repairs that I'm just not accounting for. Anything should break that we're not. Okay. Not screaming out right now that it needs to be fixed. The only reason, I guess the reason I, I wrote a circle around it is, well, but you've explained it. I'm okay with it. You had an issue with it. I know we got you into quite a bit of detail. You budgeted about three thousand a lot replacement. Yeah, three thousand dollars for anything that, that I'm not accounting for. Yeah, you don't think you could take two thousand dollars out of some other line item, take care of that, so that you'd leave that line item the same as uh, last year. Like we can just, I guess I could. Uh, push comes and stuff and something needs to be repaired, I'll just have to come before the board and say, I'm going to need to move money around, especially if it looks like yeah, we're going around yeah. over the line. Which, which we can well, do. Instead of two, why don't we just okay. reduce it by 1500 We'll give you a little more to work with. But there isn't, there isn't anything in any of the other lines that you feel you don't need, is there? Well, we're bringing our pretty tight budget. I kept line C of the team, we'll try to reduce them. Because so far everything has been justified. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to hurt you too badly there if we decrease from 12.5 to 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think you can live with that. 11 even? That's on line 82. Uh, yes. Reducing it to 11 even? Yeah. Yes. That would be a $1,500 reduction. The only two items I'd be concerned with, uh, Jason, in your budget would be the, the meals and the heating expense. However, if we're only feeding 45 or less than 50 inmates, then that should be down. Um, the heating is, is always questionable. Um, it was dropped 89,000. Um, hopefully there will still be enough money left in there to cover for heating. Well, a, it's just those two areas that would bother me. The other areas, a couple of thousand here and there, but don't bother me as much because we can get that somewhere. I had um, I had Kathy run a uh, report for me from January through December of last year, and this was ran um, on January 25th of this year. And through, if I re read this correctly, under specifically heating, we had ninety-seven thousand dollars left over in that one specific line item. Yes, sir. Well, that's because Jason, last year when when I was the chairman, we did it. We raised your your heating 
significantly. Sig yeah. Significantly, because yeah. we, we were paying, I think it was two or two and a quarter for propane, and, and we didn't feel you had enough in it. Right. And now we're buying propane for a dollar nineteen. Mm -hmm. uh, so this it was well padded to protect you. So I don't yeah. know what will happen next year. But. And we had a fairly warm year. Yeah. But uh, that's and then to to go for meals, um, we had uh, roughly forty eight thousand dollars left in that in that line as well. Forty eight thousand left over. Mm -hmm. But we only reduced this year? it. We only reduced well, for, it for, for two thousand. For two thousand and uh, for two thousand and twelve. You know what I also had here, fellas? I also had that on getting back to line eighty. We took off the eight thousand. We're going to move that to line ninety seven. We'll get we'll get to that in a minute. I also had we were going to reduce that line by a thousand dollars, which was a new snow blower, to, to be moved to the new equipment right. line. Well, we, w we would wind up then reducing line 80 by another thousand dollars and then we could re remove that to where whatever the new equipment line is. So we're going to go to 7,896. Agreed? And what number is the new equipment line? Anybody got to That's the next to last one over here on the other page. It's uh, 097. Uh, 097. Now that that snowblower, I think, was I've a been backup a conversation. It was a backup snowblower, which right. we just purchased a brand new one for the nurse for the uh, maintenance. So as far as a backup, I think we can cover that. Well, I'm looking at line 97 new equipment. It's a pretty good jump here. We're That's up 77 three to 29%. ten. I'm not sure I'm inclined to increase that by another thousand. What was the new equipment you were going to buy, Jim? We were moved for well, we moved the radio out of the out of the vehicle expense, right? Right. Well, I got this. I just let me. Okay, but at the moment we're going to. We had agreed last week that we were going to take. Uh, we had a new snowblower in that line, which but that was the wrong line. So we're going to take a thousand dollars out of the lady. Right. And stick it on to uh, line 97 new equipment. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, we had just, now you've been talking about new radios and we had all sorts of stuff on the new equipment line. Right. right. We were going to take the, the radios out of the vehicle expense. Yeah. Um, did you want to move the computers, the training computers, out of the IT expense and put them on the new equipment as well? You know, counting-wise, I'm not sure. Um, I'm tempted to say they ought to stay in the IT line. But to purchase computers? Yeah. I think we I think we took it out of the IT line. And moved it Other to places. Okay. Uh, other departments. I think we took it out of the IT line. Okay. Well, I'll 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 Mr. Check Chairman, I, I think this just brings up a good point. We ought, to, we ought to standardize that across the complex. Yeah. You know? yeah. If computers are in IT or they're in new equipment, I'll bet you we go through here, they're in different places. Yeah. Okay, but I, I assume then, Jason, on line 98, you've got your... Well, where are we going to move it? Well, the, the notes reflect that we were going to move the snowblower to the new equipment, the radios to the new equipment, and those are the only two things that were going into the new equipment line. So we were going to reduce the 073 line by 6510 and then toss that into the new equipment. Okay, what line was that again, Jason? That was uh, 073. Reduce that by 6510. So that's going to go from 14937 to. We're going to reduce it by how much? 65.10. So. So that line should be 84.27. And then you were going to 
take the $1,000 out of the 080 line, which yeah. is the care of grams, and move that to oh, the 097 line as well. Should be seventeen thousand ten dollars. How much, Jason? Seventeen thousand ten. Because the proposed from the commissioners was ten thousand. And then we had the seventy five ten, seventeen thousand five hundred and ten dollars. Okay, now let me just back up with line zero nine seven, the new equipment line is going from 10 to what? $17,510. And that's reflects the radios. Radios, the snowblowers. Computers. You put the users oh, you want the computers in there too? Well, where, where are they? They're in the, under IT. IT. Yep. Jason, what was that final number again on line 96? It was 17 what? 17 by 510. And that's the radios and the snow blower, right? Correct. We'll check on that where the computers are. And then if and then if you just want to make a note representative, if we if the rest of the county has gone and taken the computers out of the IT portion. Um, you are going to add another thousand to that and then reduce the IT line by a thousand. Why don't you just leave that alone right now? Let us check to see where the computers are in other departments. Right, I'm just going to make a note here that we will discuss line 98 <coughs> at the delegation <coughs> meeting on the general budget meeting. And then you guys can talk to her, whatever you for consistency. Because that's already up to 6,000. IT fly. The IT. That's the cost of the maintenance contract that we're, that portion for us. And then we're doing some licensing upgrades. And that was. Uh, now, let me just, on this radio and, and the, uh, we, I know we talked about the snowblower. Do we need the snowblower? You said we had a snowblower. What do we do? They've got one. And yeah. what they're doing is they're putting a thousand dollars in there. In case that one breaks down, they've got another one. Right. A backup. Okay. We have a brand new one we purchased last year because of the new nursing home. Um, and that's in our maintenance building. That could be used as a backup. Well who uses that now? Nursing home. maintenance. Maintenance does for the nursing home. For the sidewalks. Basically. Well I'll defer to you guys. I mean, do we need it or don't we need it? My only concern with that, Commissioner, is if it's already being used to maintain the admin building and the nursing home, then what are we doing in the meantime? If, if ours is broken and that's being used to maintain those okay. areas, then where do you use the where do you use the snowball? We use it to um, do our path front. all the way around the facility because we have to keep our perimeter open for doing our perimeter checks. Okay. So we use it for that, uh, and then Joe will use it for. Um, offsetting, if we don't have enough inmates, he'll use it to do the front walkway, keep the handicapped parking lots open um, in the absence of Will or Wayne coming down with the, with the plow trucks. So it gets used well, quite a bit. It's a case of whether you want to back up or not. If you want to use the backup from the nursing home. Uh, how old is the, is the present snowball? You know, we bought it used. Used? Uh, we bought it used a couple of years ago. Knock yourself out with a snow blow. That's why I'm concerned. <coughs> okay, so it looks like we got any other 
questions on the expense lines as we okay, why don't we just flip over to the capital side because we were going to make some adjustments there I just want to get my adjustments right before we talk about it. And then we were going to increase that line by eight. Eight. All right. So we got line 97. We're going to increase from 40. To 48. Is that correct? To 48. Which was based on moving the capital. The paving. Yep. For the paving. Is that a fixed venue? No. Did you know that? No, that was just a. You don't have. I don't have a direct quote. I'm no paving expert, but I, I looked at the two aprons out here. Eight grand seems like a lot of money for that. But just. Just made a, you know. Maybe we can get a. Um, is a paving company right here in Ossipi. Um I would use who uh, Will has um, used in the past on county complex. Um, if it's eight dollars, we got to go out for bid. Okay. So, and there's at least two two that I know of. Maybe one other one in Wolfboro. I don't know. Um, there's one right out here across some. Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. um, then there's one up in uh, Albany, uh, right there on 16. But I think we ought to, maybe we can try to get an estimate between now and then, a little better estimate. Sure. I would be inclined to take that eight down to five at the moment. And between now and the next general budget meeting, if Hopefully get it right. It seemed a simple, straightforward paving job to me. And eight thousand just seemed like. Yeah. Just, I know McConkie was choking on that, so uh, that's going to come up. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay. He was also choking on the price for your cameras. Apparently, you have some experience here, but I. You're so far out of my area of expertise. I would just hope that would be bid also. Maybe yes, get uh, McConkie to pave it. <laughs> yeah. So basically, line 97, and with that reduction, I would propose reduce paving to 5K. So that line would then become 45K, correct? Mm -hmm. Which number is that? Uh that's line 97. That's, uh, that's a capital oh, expenditure revenue. line. Why would it be under revenue? No, it's under the capital I mean, sorry, capital expenditure. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Page 20. Yeah. Page 20. Yeah. Page 20. Yeah. And then with the understanding that we will bid out the paving job and we will bid out the camera replacement and all that stuff. If we can. I don't know. I don't know about cameras either. These are all interior cameras, all right? Yeah, there's uh, five, and uh, actually I was going over the bid uh, or the quote, and it was uh, five interiors and three exteriors. Oh, there's three yeah. exterior ones. Three, three exteriors to replace the exterior ones, or in addition, Do, doing uh, converting them from fixed to um, oh. PTZs. I certainly. That's a lot of money. I would hope we would bid that. I don't know why we wouldn't bid it. No, that's right. You have specifications, right? You have all the specifications mm -hmm. in needed? Yeah. The only thing that I would uh, want to weigh in on is the fact that these tie into our <coughs> security <coughs> and things of that nature. So yeah. um, I'm not sure there's a lot of people out there that can tie, local people that can tie into right. the system. 
not be the only Well, but it turns out that it's something that can't be done, it can't be done. I'd certainly like to make the attempt, though. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, sure. you know, we're yeah. fine doing Okay. Uh, we got anything else here? Revenue. You want to look at revenue? Why not? Oh, you mean under capital? I don't oh, under. That mm -hmm. in for revenue? Yeah, I, just, I, mean, that's sheet. I just don't have anything like that on there. Okay, where are we here? Sure. We need to correct those figures. Uh, yeah, put them in the right category. On the jail, and uh, that's what you're going to do then. Yeah. And then come back. Yeah. We'll take out the pre-release, pre but we'll put some figures in there for work release that should come out of uh, jail income. All right. All right. Other than that, I don't see any. So we're going to include the work release. Do we have any idea how much this is going to change, roughly? Work release. Do we have that many people out on work release? Um, we don't have anybody out right now. But it's all, it's all up to the board. Out, or, or do you, would, do you think we're going to have some out? I'd like to, when, when this uh, law, if the law gets passed, um, I'd like to think that we'll have a, a number of people out. Which, what figure would you want to put in there? Now. There's zero in there right now on the work release, but we take it out of jail income. Right. You didn't even leave a, a dollar. Let me go back uh, in. You you would accept accept the income anyway, would you? Yep. Whether there's anything in there or not. Yeah. Let, Let me go back and just look at what we have. Yeah. What you did. Let me go back and look at what we expended this year or received this year. Um, because I can break out that forty-five thousand dollars, and I can get you a figure based on that. I noticed Miss Siemens came in, and uh, I tried to put my hands on the letter you sent me on grants, and I thought I put it in my political folder, which I couldn't uh. find. We had had this discussion at our last meeting about looking for grant money, particularly for the educational programs. Mm -hmm. And I guess you picked it up in the review. And she had identified a pretty good source. So might I ask you to share that with our commission? Yeah, actually, uh, Superintendent Johnson and I talked about the JAG grants. Yes. Remember those? Mm -hmm. And you were going to explore that to see if it might be anything that works for the jail or if it's something you could get access to. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm happy, I get regular grant updates and newsletters, so I'd be happy to share any that might apply to your county departments. Sure. The non-paid member of county government, we really appreciate the effort. <laughs> <laughs> they pay taxes uh, here too. So. <laughs> uh, okay, we pretty much wrapped up here, and then I'm just going to go over my notes and see that we're okay, and I'll write this minute up and I'll get it to these are in no particular order, folks, I, and I'll do that. But So let me just go down as I wrote them. So. Line 81, we're going to uh, reduce to 30K from 35.9. Okay. And if anyone chokes on this, just scream out. Line 93 is on the commissioners. You are going to look at a potential reduce of 5,000. Mm -hmm. Line 17, we're going to reduce from 16,205 to 15,000. Um, well, we got more on that here. Uh, yeah, you reduce it to 12. It, it's ultimately, yeah, it's going to reduce to 12,665. Okay. So we're going, I did this in two increments when we discussed. Okay. So uh, we're going from 16205 to 12665. Okay. Yeah. 
Dwelling 30, we're going to increase from zero to 3,500 pounds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so line, line 70, we're going to decrease from 3,700 to 2,050. Yeah. Line 80, we're going to enter. We're going to decrease from 16,896 to 7,896. And what was the other thousand dollars? That was a snow blower. Snow blower shift over yeah. to. Uh, so we had the eight thousand and a thousand. What was the final number in gold? Seven eight nine six. Line eighty, two, line zero eight two. We're going to decrease from twelve five to eleven thousand. Line seventy three. We're going to decrease from fourteen nine thirty seven to eight thousand four hundred and twenty seven. Eight thousand four twenty seven. Two seven. seven. That's basically the shifting out of the new radius. Then line 97, which is the capital line, we're increasing from 10,000 to 17,510. Commissioners will be back to discuss line 98 at the next delegation budget meeting. Mm -hmm. And line 97, which is the capital side here, we're going to uh, we're going to go to uh, 45k. We added in. We're going to go to forty-five thousand. We're going to increase it in effect by five thousand dollars, which is a shift for the paving costs, which we took out of the expense. And that's all I've got. <coughs> Hopefully, that makes sense to you. And like I say, I write this up on the minutes, and I'll get it distributed to everyone, and you can take another look at it. Mr. Chairman, yeah. I was trying to locate the capital page. What did you say the final figure is going to go from? From 40,000 to what? 40. 45,000. To 45,000. Originally, Commissioner, we talked about shifting 8,000 in paving costs, and we just felt that that was a little high. So, in effect, we reduced the paving by three grand. Okay. And with the net effect of a from 40, 40 to 45. 45. Okay. Do we know what the bottom line effect is of all these changes? No, no I don't know. Just doing it. Can't, I can't even remember what month we're in half the time. But it's, uh, no, I don't yeah, think we raised but, anything. No. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just wondering. Because we moved a lot of things around. I'm just wondering if after all this stuff. But I get out my handy dandy calculator when I get home and I'll figure out you know, what we're proposing. Uh, just on the formality side, to my fellow subcommittee members, uh, let's, you've gone through the changes. Let's just ask for a vote on whether you approve or not approve what I've just described. And then we will present this to the full committee. I approve also. Three in favor, none opposed. Any other questions? Good job. I think um, just at a quick cursory, I think you're looking at potentially reducing the proposed budget by $10,000. Uh, 
uh, 11,000. Because you took uh, 11,500. Because you took 1,100 out of um, 082, took 5,000 out of 081, potentially 5,000 in the um, insurance. So right around 11,500 $11, dollars, roughly. Okay. Accept the motion to adjourn. I hope you're in here. So be it. Thanks everyone for your uh, your participation and your help. Uh, Thank you. Really appreciate it.